Hello my gorgeous friends. So I'm here to give you a little bit of deeper understanding of um, why as a human species we've somewhere lost the whole essence of divinity within us and uh, we've we are generating and uh, functioning our lives more from the animal instinct when truly when you understand the framework of life uh, we are the most superior and intelligent species on the planet and the creator of the divine god created us with an essence of his own imagery uh, in his mind but then um, as we are living our lives some way we've kind of forgotten the divinity within us we've uh, and we've embodied more of uh, the animal instinct so what really happened to us that we've lost this grip on the divine being or the light within us so when you understand the framework of human behavior what really uh, manages our behavior is our psychological aspect and uh, our psychology starts getting framed right when we are in our mother's womb um, and uh, if you understand the framework of human beings we are all very um, vibrational beings we are energy at the uh, grassroot of uh, where our existence is everything in the universe is energy and we are nothing but a form of energy and uh, more than before we get the physical body we get our energy body which defines us by our emotions so what i'm trying to tell you here is um, we have two bodies we have the physical body which is made up of matter the one that we can see touch and feel and the second body is our energy body or we call it the prana body or uh, and that is defined by our, by our emotions even before our physical bodies are developed in our mother's womb uh, our energy body is already uh, prescripted and it's like the blueprint of our existence and based on the information in our energy body our physical body is being formed so our energy body is carrying the uh, blueprint of how we are going to look uh, what is the color of our hair what is the color of our eyes genetically who are we going to look like um, our mom or our dad so all of that defines and with the new uh, study of epigenetics it's uh, clearly proven that it is not the genes that define our reality but it is our environmental conditioning so 92 percent of our uh, behavior our physical behavior mental behavior emotional behavior is uh, defined by the environment we are in and um, when we are in our mother's womb and uh, we are a little fetus and we are growing our body is growing at the pace of faster than the pace of light the environment the emotional environment in the womb starts program this information that was there in my foundation has now become the quality of my emotional state my mental state and uh, my emotional body and my mental body decides the fate of my physical body and my spiritual life or my karmic uh, roles and goals. So my dear friends, it's important that we uh, understand our true divine nature. And it's okay if you got programmed in a certain way, but what's not okay is if you're not doing anything about it. It's time you uh, identify what your damaging behaviors are. We were not designed to damage ourselves with anger, fear and sadness, guilt and shame. Uh, and uh, the worst thing that we do is we end up projecting or throwing this anger on other people and scarring them. Now, uh, it's important we understand that everybody is carrying their psychological and emotional wounds deep down inside and they are so no. deeply uh, and then there comes a time in our lives when this emotional pain and this psychological pain is so heavy to carry and I'm talking about the time of adolescence when our mind is very confused and we are identifying with our outside world because we've disconnected with our inner self uh, our true self our divine nature so how do I like to frame it is we are all born as a piece of God uh, and we become a piece of dog so that age between uh, 14 to 20 is a very confusing age because you've lost the essence of God in you because you environmentally got wired to not believe that you're a God because we were not treated like one and it's nobody's fault here. Um, and um, you don't identify yourself with your false identity, the dog identity, the 
the so here when i'm using the word dog i really don't mean dog dog but i just mean like how we get impulsive and reactive and the animal instinct so just dog is just a metaphor here um and um so that we can just relate to this whole concept so that age between uh, 12 to 18 is so confusing for a child because they've lost their true identity and one of the core survival needs for our brain or our mind to function is preservation of identity we do need an identity to exist so at that moment children uh, because they're carrying so much emotional pain they're looking for places where they could numb their pain right and distract themselves and drugs uh, addiction and alcohol and smoking becomes one of those more uh, very uh, important aspects of their life because they can relate to it and the moment they are under the substance uh, their pain their internal pain is numbed so it is for us to identify how exactly do human beings function and trust me if you understand you then it's really going to be easy to reprogram you and put yourself in a pedestal of being the creator of your own reality we were not born to be the victims of our life we were born to be the creators manifestation is a basic uh, birthright like we have oxygen all around and energy all around prana all around uh, we deserve all the abundance but the point here is uh, we've never sat down to understand our true framework and what happened to us uh, through our year, early years of growing up Another thing I really really want uh, us to understand is in this whole design of being distorted in our personal realities it's not anybody's fault it is not your parents fault it is not your environment's fault because they didn't know better but definitely it is your responsibility to rewire yourself understand your true nature your divine nature uh, which is deeply hidden inside you and it's layered with all the darkness So you have to go through the darkness to find your light. The darkness is all those experiences that you went through, all the pain that you went through. Being in denial of this pain is not going to heal it. So you have to walk through that pain. You have to walk through that trauma once again and give yourself a new story and that is when the whole game changes. So my dear gorgeous souls, it's time you understand